Hi, this is Jane Philpot at Cooking for Health in Somerset, UK. This week I was in our nearby town of Somerton and I picked up a bag of locally grown purple sprouting broccoli at the health food store. So I thought it would be lovely to make a simple vegetable dish with it. Often I find that people's uh, main problem with cooking healthily is that they run out of ideas. They see something nice in the shops, aren't quite sure what to do about it, but buy it anyway, take it home and then just maybe boil it. Perhaps it goes to mush um, or just tastes boring and then they say they don't like vegetables. So what I'd like to do is to inspire you with um, some different ideas and what, what you might be able to do with um, vegetables um, that, which are simple and quick to prepare. So today I'm going to show you how to make purple sprouting broccoli with um, mushrooms and just regular uh, closed cap mushrooms and also um, a sea vegetable called arami. I'll talk a bit more about that in a minute. And then this will be seasoned with um, garlic, lemon, soy sauce, um, sesame oil, maybe a little bit of mirin, which is like a, a Japanese rice wine, a bit like sherry, um, and some uh, apple juice concentrate. So the first uh, ingredient will be the broccoli. So once you've washed the broccoli, then um, you can cut it into small pieces like this. Broccoli is a member of the um, cabbage family. Um, also members of that family are cauliflower, kale and Brussels sprouts. And although it's low in calories, broccoli is one of the most nutrient dense foods. It's particularly rich in vitamin C and antioxidants. Purple flowering broccoli has even higher anti antioxidant um, activity than regular green broccoli. And all members of the, the brassica family, the cabbage family, demonstrate remarkable anti-cancer effects, particularly against breast cancer. Compounds in broccoli known as glucosinolates, specifically uh, indole-3-carbinol and sulforaphane, increase the excretion of the form of oestrogen linked to breast cancer. Back in the 1990s, researchers at the John Hopkins University School of Medicine in Baltimore, Maryland, fed sulforaphane um, extracts to laboratory rats exposed to a standard carcinogen, and the frequency, size, and number of tumours they developed was dramatically reduced. Human studies with these compounds show that they stimulate the body's production of detoxification enzymes and exert antioxidant effects. There's also evidence that sulforaphane may be helpful in getting rid of the bacterium Helicobacter pylori, which causes peptic ulcers and also um, has been associated with a, a fairly large increase, three to six times greater risk of stomach cancer. Indole-3-carbonyl is also an important cancer-fighting compound. It's been shown to arrest growth of breast and, and prostate cancers and also to decrease growth of the human papilloma virus, which is linked to cervical cancer. Broccoli is also a rich source of an antioxidant called lutein, which has been shown to, get, uh, to protect against macular degeneration. The next ingredient um, in this dish is a sea vegetable called arami. With this, I'm just going to take a small handful, about eight grams or so, and soak it in cold water for five to 10 minutes. Those of you who've participated in my cooking courses know that I'm very enthusiastic about seaweed or sea vegetables, um, as they're often referred to. Um, in Asia, the health benefits of consuming seaweed were recognised over 3,000 years ago, and many Japanese people attribute their healthy longevity to regular consumption of seaweed. The mineral content of seaweeds is very significant and is likely to explain many of their health benefits. Seaweeds provide all of the 56 minerals and trace minerals required for the body's physiological functions. Indeed, they contain 10 to 20 times the minerals of land plants and an abundance of vitamins and other elements necessary for metabolism. The modern diet is very severely depleted of minerals due to a general decline in soil fertility um, due to intensive farming and also the refining and processing of food which strips uh, the food of its vital minerals. 
the addition of seaweed into uh, cooking helps to restore the mineral content and the great thing about them is that they're in a form which the body can absorb really easily. Arame is a good introductory vegetable as it has a sweet flavour and a delicate texture. When harvested, arame is tough, so to make it easy to use, the fronds are shredded into fine thread-like strips and boiled in their own juices for several hours to soften them. During this process, the colour changes to a deep black. It's then thoroughly air-dried before being packaged for sale. Because arame has been pre-cooked, it's one of the easiest sea vegetables to use. Once it's been soaked like this, uh, and it's already quite soft, um, even after only a few minutes, it can be added to soups, stir fries, salads, stews, pasta, grain and vegetable dishes. Alternatively, you can actually cook it for 10 to 15 minutes and then flavour it with soy sauce or other seasonings like lemon rind or apple juice concentrate. Um, ginger goes really well with it. So um, this is um, very, very versatile and quick and easy to use. The next ingredient is mushrooms. I just have some regular closed cut mushrooms here which I've already washed and I'm going to chop them into quarters and sprinkle them with lemon juice to stop them going brown. White button mushrooms or these closed cut mushrooms are an excellent source of B vitamins and of many minerals including selenium, copper, potassium and zinc. For the past 30 years or more um, the phytochemicals in mushrooms have been the subject of fairly intensive anti-cancer anti research. Most of this research has um, centred on particular polysaccharides in mushrooms called beta-glucans. These beta-glucans have been shown in numerous studies to activate white blood cells which are involved in engulfing and destroying cancer cells, um, also microbes and other foreign cells, and in boosting the immune system more generally. They also help to spread the um, to help to prevent the spread of cancer to prevent metastasis. Now I'm just going to chop a clove of garlic, which will will be used um, as a, a kind of seasoning. Um, garlic, you could do um, a whole day of lectures on the health benefits of garlic. It contains very very powerful anti-inflammatory compounds and antioxidants, and is also known to boost the immune system as well. So I'm just going to finely slice it like this. If you like very garlicky food, you can add two cloves. I'm not so keen, so I'm just going to keep um, it to one. So now I've got all the ingredients prepared. The arami has been soaked and drained. The broccoli has been um, washed and cut into pieces. The mushrooms have been washed and quartered and sprinkled with lemon juice to um, prevent them from going brown and a clove of garlic has been finely chopped um, as well. So now I'm just going to heat a little oil in the pan, um, just uh, a few drops, less than a tablespoonful. And I'm going to add the garlic and also um, about a tablespoonful of um, soy sauce. Soy sauce is um, also a fermented soya product, which is very, very rich in antioxidants. And I'm also going to put in a tiny bit of toasted sesame oil, just a quarter of a teaspoon, because it's got a very strong taste, very delicious, but very strong. So you don't want too much in there. So just saute the garlic really lightly. Don't really want it to go black at all. And then I'm just gonna add the mushrooms and saute them gently. coating them with the soy sauce. I'm also going to add a little bit of mirin, which is um, a Japanese rice wine, a bit like sherry. Very just a little bit, which just brings out a really delicious flavour. And then I'm going to add the arami. just stir fry, just saute gently. 
until the mushrooms start to go a little soft. If you want, you can put a tiny bit of apple juice concentrate in at this stage. Um, this just adds a tiny bit of sweetness to the dish. Okay, and so while that's uh, sautéing, you can then steam the broccoli. So I've just got a regular steamer here. And I'm just going to add the broccoli for about three, three minutes until it becomes a really dark green, beautiful colour. It's really, really important not to overdo it. So I'm going to put the timer on um, because it's quite easy to get distracted when you're cooking. And the broccoli is done, it should be a really beautiful, um, vibrant dark green colour. And then we just um, tip it into the um, pan with the mushrooms. And mix it up. So here's the final dish, purple sprouted broccoli with mushrooms and arami. This dish is high in antioxidants and in other substances known to fight cancer and to boost your immune system. So not only does it taste delicious, it's also really great for your health. Remember, every mouthful of vegetables you eat, you're protecting your body from chronic diseases and increasing your chances of living a long and healthy life. Eat plants, not pills. Thank you for watching.